Welcome to Lencore's Technical Training. Presenting Spectra Gold A1U or All Inclusive Unit, a networked solution. The A1U head end contains all of the controls and processors necessary for generating the sound masking. It also includes one audio input for adding background music. The units are simple to install and easy to maintain using both the front panel controls or the graphic user interface known as System Manager. The A1U is a standalone masking device, simple to operate and simple to maintain. During this presentation, we will take a look at the Spectra Gold system design. We will look at its primary components, installation, wiring, and the tune and balance ready form. System Overview the head end equipment controls the speakers. You can group and zone OPs and speaker channels easily. System Manager, our graphical user interface, gives you simple and powerful control over your system. For both ease of use and installation, Lencore's Spectra Gold system is offered as a packaged solution. Systems include the 1RU masking only head end and speakers. The A1U standalone masking head end can cover up to 12,000 square feet in a 1RU rack device. Each of the head ends contains two operating platforms, eight independent channels for a total of 64 speakers maximum. The units also have two IR ports, an audio source available, and front panel control for user input and setup. Each unit also has an integrated LCD screen for visual feedback, and keep in mind, the units are not expandable. All connections are made on the rear of the unit. Installation. Typically installed in closets, home runs are then made to the speakers. Connect your audio input and make any home runs to the IR keypad or IRI. Keep in mind, since the units are not expandable, there will be no data cables. Also, an important note to our installers, you must leave 1RU of rack space above the unit for proper ventilation. A single device for operation and maintenance, as well as the ability to play background music. As indicated earlier, all connections to the unit are made on the rear panel. Installation. During a typical installation, the only cables leaving the head end will be your speaker home runs. Speaker types include the Gold Direct Fire Tangent, Gold In Plenum Universal, and Gold Decorative Pendant Speakers. Your project may include a single speaker type or a mix of any of the speakers available. This would not be unusual. In order to help maintain uniformity, wherever possible, keep the chain lengths and the heights consistent throughout the installation and the space. Follow the channel and speaker designations on the drawings provided so that proper tuning of the system can take place. Any changes to the system must be designated on the drawings or the as-builts. Just how important is uniformity? Imagine trying to tune a space where you had a channel of speakers that was installed six inches lower than the rest of the speakers that were part of that particular zone or group of speakers you'd have to wonder why those speakers were so much louder than the rest of the speakers. Uniformity matters. The A1U OP has eight outputs, two groups of channels A, B, C, and D. Category 5 or Category 6 cable is used from the A1U to the first speaker and from speaker to speaker. The positive signal is derived from pins 1, 2, 3, and 4, while the negative signal is derived from pins 5, 6, 7, and 8. Always test your cables, and do not use shielded category cable. Lencore recommends against the use of the Easy RJ45 heads. We have experienced a high number of system failures when they were employed. At this time, we discourage their use. Speaker Placement Typically, 15 feet on center, use 20 to 25 foot patch cables. Tile bridges will always be used when installing into a drop tile. Wire preparation. When wiring the speakers, 
Use Category 5E or equivalent 4-pair plenum rated cabling. Straight pin 568B. CAT6 is also recommended. As a reminder, do not use shielded cable. Check your sight drawings. Always refer to the final wiring installation diagram. Use the wiring diagram to determine approximate wiring lengths. Typically, cabling will be 25 foot cables between speakers. It is important to double check for long home runs and check your wiring schematics for your project. The first speaker should not be more than 150 feet from the output of the OP. The entire channel length should not exceed 300 feet. It is important to test every category cable. Even pre-made or pre-certified cables are prone to failure. Every pin and every cable must be perfect. Lencor cannot stress enough how important this step is. Testing each and every CAT cable will save you hours of troubleshooting later. Always refer to your final wiring diagram while on site. Prior to powering up your system, have you checked all home runs? Have your speaker wires been tested? On the next slide, we will discuss a fast and efficient way to test your cables. Speaker testing. The masking is generated by the A1U, so this test will verify that the A1U is powered up and that the speakers are working. We alluded to a fast and efficient method for testing your speakers. I can think of no faster and more efficient way to test your speakers than to power up the head end each time you attach a speaker to the system, you will hear the masking come on as the masking is on by default. Using this method, you will be able to determine that each of your speaker cables is correctly wired with no shorts. If necessary, raise the volume of the masking using the front panel controls or the system manager software interface. Walk the space to ensure all speaker channels are producing sound masking and that it remains on for one hour. Run the A1U for one hour to ensure that there are no shorts on the speaker lines. Shorts will cause the internal amps to overheat, enter thermal protection, and mute the outputs. Remove speaker cables from muted channels. Power cycle the A1U to release the protection while cables are being tested and repaired. Preparing a test kit. To check all speaker wires and speakers for their integrity, Unplug the first speaker wire from the gold OP and connect an RJ45 to an 8-conductor CAT5 wire on one end and twist wire pins 1, 2, 3, and 4 together for your positive and 5, 6, 7, and 8 together for your negative. This will give you two leads. Attach an ohmmeter to the wire with the leads and attach the other end to the first or last speaker in a run of speakers using an RJ45 coupler. If all is connected correctly, you will see approximately the following correct results on your ohm meter. Plug the unit into a standard wall outlet. The system will be online in under two minutes. The AUGS LED will flash while booting and be solid when the system is ready to be accessed. Connect a network cable to the unit's Ethernet input to access the protocessor. The protocessor is the network server. The protocessor is preloaded with Lencore's System Manager. System Manager allows adjustments to the system's characteristics. And please note, the network cable should be a standard Ethernet cable, not power over Ethernet. Also, please note, the sound masking will begin approximately 30 seconds after powering up, while the protocessor is still booting. Follow the instructions in the System Manager User Guide for connecting a laptop to the head end. This will enable you to access System Manager. When connected properly, the software will show that the OPs are online indicated by a green OP icon. The System Manager User Guide is available online at www.lencore.com. Always test all cables including pre-made or pre-certified patch cords. These cables are batch tested and it's likely that some will fail. Testing must always be performed and noted on the tune and balance ready form. It is the responsibility of the installer to complete the tune and balance ready form. The form is designed as a checklist for the installer and to ensure whoever is commissioning the project that all aspects of the installation have been proven to be working. This includes the head end, speakers, and all cabling. It is the responsibility of the installation team to verify that the site is ready for tuning and balancing. 
The installer will verify any and all aspects relating to the project. The installer emails the form to installcomplete at lencore.com. Upon receiving the completed form, Lencore will reach out to the person or persons responsible for the tuning and balancing. Scheduling of the tuning and balancing is handled by the tuner. The installer should be prepared to be on site while the tuning takes place to make any necessary repairs. This concludes our training of the A1U Spectra Gold all-in-one system. For more information, visit us at Lencore.com or contact our office to speak with a Lencore representative or technical support. Thank you.